Welcome back everybody. Today I've got another ship to show. I just this is something I put together in my single player over I think this four hours work now. Uh, it's only a hundred meters long and it's got every weapon fitted for stop. So I've called it the stop. Basically the stop. And um, if I just take a quick look at this thing, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's only a small ship. Um, it uses cannons, beams, missiles, and a damage pulse for weaponry. It's got a jump drive. All that good stuff. And it's just uh, generally quite a small ship. It's got a system here which indicates the combat status. So here's my bridge. Got a captain's chair right there. View screen. Um, if we move towards the back, we've got all the computers in the wall. And going through the back, open this door. We've got like a crew area. Because this is meant as an exploration ship, really. It's not like a war vessel. Um, and if we come to the back, we've got a button. And this button's to use this. Uh, I'm going to do this from astronaut mode because it'll make more sense. I've still got a bit of detail work to do on this ship, but I thought it was ready to show off. So, if you come down to the back of the ship here, what you've got is you've got this little area here. So you've got like an airlock to the cargo bay. And then in there we've got a bunch of Cambot scouts. Okay? And they're all docked up on these rails. It doesn't matter which side they come in, they'll always end up stopping in the middle ready to be undocked again and the way that this deploys is quite interesting so if I show you this now we'll deploy I'm gonna do this so it extends the hangar outside the ship okay so that then what we have is we have this we have an area of the ship which folds out. It's hidden in the engines. <laughs> but the idea was to have a deployable. I was thinking of the uh, submarine deployments. And like I say, it's, an ex it's just for exploration. So uh, here we go. I'm going to jump in one of these. All right. And off we go. We can go to Monolith Burger. If we want, <laughs> and then fly back. So here's the ship again. It's quite a small ship. Okay, and then once we're ready, we can come in here. Let's dock in the other side just to show that. And if you look, one of the rails is facing a different direction. So I'll use right click and it'll zap through the door and it'll leave it in place for me. I was gonna I was thinking about using a bunch of wireless logic to do all the doors, but I think if I was gonna make it bigger than this, then I would do it. Because it's so compact I just use Plex doors and just push R. And there you go. So that is my concept. It's like on a submarine when you deploy a mini sub. What's it doing? Are we getting a little bit of lag? Yeah, we're getting a little bit of lag. There we go. Boom. And that was the idea. It's also got a uh, internal ship remote, and it's all on a T-flip. So, flip-flop. So that means we can do this. Just find the, the hotbar button. There it is, airlock toggle. And there's my airlock. Obviously the door's shut. And you could have it anywhere on the ship, coming out of anywhere on the ship. Okay. And then in it goes. So then there's no need to have a door, because you can actually have the ship fold out. So that was pretty much all I wanted to show you, really. Uh, 
Aside from that, we are in a protected sector right now, so I should be fine to show you these weapons. Do, 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 do. So we've got a cannon. Stop cannons are useful against pirates because if the pirates, if you're shooting one, he can't get away. Yeah, sector's protected. Good. So we use the beams to catch people. Okay, we use the beams to catch people. We use the turret when we get, when they get close to us. We've got a swarm of missiles just to slow people down before we get there. And then we've got this awesome damage pulse computer. And the damage pulse computer is useful because you can drop them out the back of your ship if someone's behind you it's supposed to drop three but I think you can just keep dropping them but yeah if someone was behind you they are gonna get hit by it but it was just an afterthought really and then obviously we've got our jump computer and that's it that's the whole ship so there is there's the stop. I'm going to release this one, so there should be a description video link uh, for you to download. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.